Beatus Essay, this is IP Sister Shodhara Singh. Welcome number 9. For those of you born on the 9th, the 18th, the 27th, please add up your birth date. If it comes to a number 9, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three oracular cards from three different decks, Lord Shiva's deck, the Dragon Oracle and the Moonology Oracle. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. It's the Smithwit, you have the Dragon Tarot, the Wicca and the Celtic Dragon. Alright, let's move on to the first uh, central theme for you number nine. You have pulled out the long journey of flying Hanuman, the beautiful card of courage and the third quarter moon card that says adjustments are required. So, uh, you are going to have a physical or spiritual journey in the month of February. Uh, you need to embrace this opportunity as uh, enthusiastically and readily as possible. Be open to it. Invite it into your lives. And I promise you that this will be a journey that you will grow and learn from. The card of courage. You need to have the courage to overcome what it is that you're apprehensive about. What are your fears? Face them, overcome them, and gain from that uh, experience. Quite similar. So you are going to have a long journey that will require courage and you will have to adjust. So be open to that. So you will have to be courageous. You will have to be adjusting. You will have to be uh, accepting of the journey that has been presented to you by the universe. Okay. So well, your work seems to be quite clearly cut out for you. The first week of Feb 2024, number nine, you've pulled out the card of Temperance, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Chariot card. Two out of four, our major arcana looks like you are receiving the blessings of the angels. The Temperance card tells me you could be a Sagittarian or dealing with one. This card also means that uh, you need to strike a balance in your life. There is something that's disbalanced in your life. And you'll know best what it is. Are you overthinking? Are you comparing too much? Are you in a place that makes you unhappy and dissatisfied? Are you working too much? Are you running from here to there? Are you trying to please everyone? Right? Something is disbalanced. Um, so find out what it is and fix it. The Seven of Swords tells me that either you're deceiving someone or someone is deceiving you. This card also means that you need to change your strategy <coughs> to get a better response and result from your actions. Hmm. The Seven of Cups is another card of opportunity. This card says that you need to welcome something that is coming towards you and have the kind of vibe of self-positive talk telling yourself this is one of the best chances that the universe has provided for you and it's going to turn in your favor don't be scared of it <coughs> excuse me the chariot card is here to say that uh, you could be a cancerian or dealing with one this card also means that you need to strike the yin yang balance in your life and uh, try and see if that can be done ASAP. In the second week, we have the two of swords, the four of wands, the ten of coins or the ten of pentacles and the star card. All right. So two of swords tells me that you are a uh, well, uh, you have been given a choice and you seem to have made up your mind, but you're not letting the other choice go and uh, you need to take a call. The pros and cons of both are what are attracting and not attracting you. And that's how the confusion will increase the more you hold on to your multiple options. Stick to what you believe in, stick to what you're confident in and then go ahead and take the decision. But make the move, okay? The Four of Wands tells me that uh, 
you're contemplating although you are supposed to make a move you're still thinking about whether you should or shouldn't when there is a time crunch or when there is a time uh, a clock that is attached to your decision then uh, don't spend too much time thinking right because plans have to be acted upon to be realized ten of coins is a card that we use a lot in spell casting this card says that you are uh, doing very well financially this is your vibe this is your frequency if you're matching it great you might even be attracted to animals and if you're not then get in touch with us so that we can match your switch your vibe okay the star card tells me that you could be an aquarian or dealing with one this card also means that in a situation where you feel like all hope is lost guess what it isn't this is also a karmic baggage ca card so if you've not had yours released now is a good time to do it remember karmic baggage release lasts for one year the third week of uh, feb 2024 number nine you've pulled out the knight of coins or the knight of pentacles the four of cups the emperor card and the three of wands so it looks like you are uh, looking at options uh, again you are procrastinating you have made up your mind but you're not willing to make a move we just did the two of swords it was very similar to that in terms of picking the choice and then making the move depending on the choice you've picked you might be also planning a trip by the water but make your move okay you are done thinking about it it seems like you don't have anything more to add to your thought if you're not sure about your decision figure out what the issue is and find the solution okay four of cups tells me that you're not happy about what's been offered to you you were expecting more but you received a you received a you received a lesser amount of what was offered to you um besides the fact that it is a low vibe it's not a good place to be in because it will keep giving you experiences but that will lead to disappointment Please snap out of it and don't cause harm to your vibrational frequency. The Emperor card tells me that you could be an Aries or dealing with one. This card also means that you are taking decisions in your life based on an uh, action-oriented adult male, either in your family or your mentor. This card also means that you're taking care of or trying to secure, thinking about trying to secure the future of uh, the next generation could be your siblings, offsprings, nephew, niece, etc. The Knight of Pentacles is here to say, Knight of Coins. There is money-wise an offer that is coming your way and uh, this move has already begun. Keep your vibes open, be open to it, accept it. Could be a posting, could be a better job offer, promotion, um, maybe in the same line. Maybe you'll start your own business, partnerships or proprietor, but there is definitely a money move that's coming your way. The offer is in the cards and uh, try and see if you have the courage and the confidence to own this. This is, a, this is something that you won't regret. And the last week of Feb 2024, number nine, you've pulled out the nine of wands, the seven of swords, the king of cups and the four of wands. All right. So nine of wands tells me that you are exhausted. Uh, you have been taking a stand for a very long period of time. And now um, you feel like you're doubting yourself. Should you, should you not? When are you going to get your break? Everyone else seems to be doing better than you, etc., etc. At this point of time, tell yourself that you haven't come this far to give up. Also, that uh, the sun is just about to rise because help is near. Right? Don't give up. Keep your chin up, keep your hopes high. Seven of Swords tells me that either you're deceiving someone or somebody is deceiving you. This card also means that you need to change your strategy. Something that was working for you earlier is not working out for you now. So you need to change your strategy so that you get the results that you want and have worked towards. King of Cups tells me don't go by the gender, you could be a female also. That you could be a Pisces can Cancer Scorpio or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to stop holding on too tightly to a dream, thought, notion, person, thing, item, okay, concept. But whatever it is, you're holding on to it so tightly 
that you're coming across as hopeless and desperate and that's not how you want others to define you or know you. Focus on the process, have faith in the universe, have faith in yourself, have confidence in your actions and then let the universe do its job, okay? The Four of Wands tells me that you will be attending a ceremony or conducting one. There is definitely an engagement, marriage, a joyous occasion to be celebrated, um, which is happening. <clears throat> you will be attending or conducting it. Be a part of it. It's a great vibe to be in, a high positive, good vibration, which is what you require at this point of time to attract all the good things that the universe seems to be sending out towards you. All right, that's all I have for you, number nine. I will see you in the month of March. Take care of yourselves. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you all. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina and be it is essay.